Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and it is actually St. Patrick's Day today. I believe the event is going to be going on for a few more days. I'm not exactly sure when it is supposed to end. I used to have a rundown for ends, but it doesn't seem to tell me. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> nothing that says one way or the other here. Um, anyway... I guess we'll keep doing it as long as it keeps running. I did want to let you guys know that they have discounts on the travel costs at this point. So most places are about eh, about 30% maybe. Yep, I would say at least 30%. Which for some places that is a big chunk of change. But one of the things I wanted to do... Now I've already shown you that we can grind... Acoins, and we were doing it down here in Blue Crab Island. As you well know, it takes a lot of money to travel to Blue Crab Island, and of course, you have to make the travel costs. So, I think what I'm going to do one of the things I did notice, like I said last time, I wasn't catching any of the snakeheads when I was in originally in Mudwater and the Heron River. I think the reason I wasn't catching them is, unlike the event fish, peaks do matter to the snakeheads. Because that's when I started catching them, when we started going into a peak. So I'm going to test that, and I'm going to continue trying to get the event fish, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go to one place that's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> I think we're going to head on to probably either Mudwater River, maybe the Everglades. I might do the Everglades, because we've seen Mudwater see what kind of things they have in their pots of gold or whatever here but before we do that I think I might I've got like a dollar ninety nine or ninety nine cents a premium might as well go ahead and get that I have a little bit of money in there so that's gonna actually help me considerably we'll see if we can't catch us some a serious amount of these guys plus if we get enough snakeheads we should be able to pay for the trip now obviously if we're going to be doing this in a peak we're going to be catching regular fish too but you know we need to be able to pay for this so we'll start off with that hopefully there'll be a peak early on and then we can go into a down down play you know like down then we can go into a non-peak period and focus on the event fish but let's let's see what happens here real quick guys let me see, I'll make sure I have everything I need. There might be something in the home that I might need that I don't have with me. I think I got everything though. Now, I was also told that these pickled Huari palm fruit are apparently an event bait. So I'm going to give that a try. See if that is the case, because I didn't know that, to be honest. I thought that was just something you purchased. But let me go ahead and jump in here. This mixes things up a little bit. That way we're not spending all our time in certain locations. I don't know where the pots of golds would, would possibly be. Alright, here we go. That away. And I don't see anything down here. This is where we're going to come eventually, here. Down here. No. 
down here. Here we go. Okay. There's the pot of silver. Nothing. Seriously? That's never happened before. Well, there's the golden tooth spinnerbait. That's where you find it. It's right here. I'm going to check real quick over here just in case there might be something, but I doubt it. That was a ripoff. I can't believe that. That was a real ripoff. Never had that happen. I have actually played this many, many times and never got nothing. I have on other events, but not this one. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's see. We are... Well, we're kind of in a... We're not in a down in a peak period, but peak period here is not all that big, to be honest. And it is Florida. It isn't until about 1 p.m. Well, let's see if we can't get some event fish then while we're here. And then I am going to test that Hawaii fruit. I am kind of curious to see what we'll get. I think I'll put it on this rod just to see. I guess it's a little bit more to work with. Yeah, I think I'll put it on the two middle rods. And we'll leave the others the same. And we'll try the popper pine here. See if that does well. But I think the frog will probably do very well here, to be honest. No, it didn't take long. Did not take long at all. This is the holy grasshopper, so we'll probably get a rowdy bass or a buzzman. Looks like it's a rowdy bass. There's two bait coins right there off the bat. Okay, this one. This is a heavy-duty rowdy, I think. Yeah, he's a 25-pounder. That, that's good size for a rowdy bass. I have seen him bigger. We want to get us a nice little visual for this. Go. We're catching them pretty readily here too, guys. So, a lot cheaper to come here than blue crab. Not, not belittling the gentleman's spot that gave it to me. It is a very good spot. But, travel time, got to be able to pay for that. And that's what we got to do here. And the travel time is going to be a lot quicker to pay off here. There we go. Got another one here. Now this is off the pickled Huari fruit, just like they said. This is this is working. We got it. Thank you very much for that helpful tip. I did not know. This is a 28 pound rowdy bass. Not a record, but he's good size. I think I'm, yeah, I was afraid I'd, I didn't mean to hit it so soon. That is actually very, very good.
Every now and then this happens to me, but I will have a hard time getting two or more dots with the poppers. This time we got it. So far we've just gotten rowdies, but I think we got a Tembiqui this time. Yeah, we did. There's our first one. I knew you could get him here because I remember getting him here before. There's another Buzzman. Looks like we're getting a little bit of everything here. Now, this is not an event fish. Yep, channel cat. Another buzzman. He's not wanting to get caught, is he? Now we're getting enough here that this is probably a good place to fish. Mudwater probably would do well. I don't think I've ever gotten the buzzards there at all. So that might be the only disadvantage to going there. Just getting two out of the three. Yeah, they don't seem to be biting right now, and I really do believe that's because it's not the peak. Wow, I didn't realize that the catfish really love this as well as they do, but they do. i throwing that over here. That is a catfish hole. All right, I think what I might do is forward time to the peak. Plus, it'll give us a little more light. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't get a little more action off these guys. I think I might go with the stout walker to start off with. And we'll try the popper. And the swim baits. Try a few of them. Wow, that was fast. Holy crap. I think we got us a bass, though. Yep. Trophy. That'll start paying for some stuff here. Alright, this time we got an event fish, so. Another rowdy. 27 pounder. Yeah, thank you. I don't remember who it was that gave me that tip about the Hawari fruit. Pickled Hawari fruit. But that was an awesome tip. Got another buzz one. It's funny, we haven't got one leprechaun fish. Pretty good size. That didn't take long. Yeah, when it bends that much, it's got to be an event fish of some kind. The Tambiquis are really biting heavily here for some reason.
see, I'm not getting a good walk on this. Not doing anything different. Take it down to two notches and see if that doesn't improve things. Yeah, it did. There we go. And I'm not sure what we have here. We could probably have a bass, or we could have what we're after. I think we might. Oh, we got a bowfin. <laughs> Close. Okay, now we're getting some bites here. Let's see. Four. We got him. Wow, that's a fighter. That is a fighter. We have not got one leprechaun fish. It's very strange. Yep. Okay, that might be part of the reason why. We've got a two-odd hook on there. Let's take that down a little bit. I thought I had number two hook on both of these. Let's see, what says on here? Yeah, I've got one on that one. Okay, let's try throwing this right out front, but I bet you we'll get one now. Not that it matters. They were two bay coins anyway, so... Yeah, both fin look very similar to the snakeheads. I don't think they're in the same family, but they I think they fill the same niche. There we go. Well, we had a bite. Dang on it. There we go. And I think we got something good size this time for this. Trophy bowfin. Well, they definitely go for that lure. And we had two attempts as well. Might have been the same fish. But you can tell when something's going after it because there's a swirl around it right before they go for it. Got a determined little guy here. Well, he's not little. At least he's not light. Another rowdy bass. 27 pounder. Throw that over here. I'm just kind of curious to see what we got going. Yep. Don't think we're going to get to do that just yet. Got it. Hit that. Another rowdy bass. Either, nope, it's another rowdy. I don't get a rowdy bass off the wazoo. <laughs> Something's moving around over there. I haven't really been getting too many non-event species off of this bait. They've all been good size. But 
Seems like it's been sticking with the rowdy bass. Yeah, I'm going to toss this over there again because, like I said, it seems like there's a lot of splashing going on around here. This is off that worm. Let's see if... Oh, no. That's not a leprechaun. Tambiqui. And I think it's another Tambiqui. So this area has really been focusing on the Rowdy Bass and the Tambiqui. And I haven't had much opportunity to try to go for the snakeheads. Okay, this is not an event fish. Another channel cat. Gotta do that over here. Like I said, that's the hole. And they do seem to like that particular bait. At least get this sucker in. Good lord. Okay. Got us another catfish or something? Nope, large mouth. Really haven't been getting too many non events. Which is kind of good, honestly. Okay, I think we do have this one because its tip is bending, but it's not an fish. It is a trophy bluegill. <laughs> that little bugger. 105, that's good size. Let's see what we can. Did get one with a walker. We got the clover spoon we could try. The spinnerbait golden tune as a possibility. We do have a swim bait. I did want to try that one, honestly. If I get a chance to. Well, we got something, but I don't think it's what we're after here. Largemouth bass, they love them. We need to move it around here. Seeing a lot of activity over here, so I thought I might give it a shot. And there it goes. Now it's going to make me use the net.
Okay, this is the worm. We have still not caught a, le a leprechaun fish. Can you get him here? Dark, I wonder. filling that net, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he's a little on the small side for them. Kind of surprised that this isn't getting largemouth bass too, but they keep changing stuff. It's what used to work really well doesn't seem to work as well as it used to. Yeah, whatever this is, is not big. Might be another golden shiner. Nope, oh, a little bluegill. I'm just surprised that there are no leprechaun fish biting on me. Not a one. And I'm not getting snakehead spiting either. pounds. Let's see, we're going to try a different lure here. Maybe the spinnerbait or the clover spoon. Just to make things mix things up a little. Or the leprechaun buzzbait. That might be a good one to try. We can put that either one of these. Let's try both one of these first, and then we'll put the crayfish on there. See if that doesn't get their attention. Well, I got something's attention. I think it's another trophy bass.
Well, these buzzmans, they really do fight. I think the rowdy bass would beat them on the fight because they usually weigh more, but honestly, I think these fight better. Pound for pound, they are tougher fighters. Yeah, I can see that's only 18 pounds. Like that's an only, but still. You know what I'm trying to say here. Oh, wow. That is a strong fish. Yeah, I'm going to try a couple more casts with this, and I'm going to go to the buzz bait. See how that does. Hope I got something, but I think it's just a large amount of bass. Nope, it's a butterfly peacock. Definitely a heck of a fighter. Yeah, nothing has really been going, I swear to God. It's like I don't think we would get them. But we're not. There's our next buzzman, and we got something on here. So far, we've got about 600 pounds of these guys. 52 bay coins. But we haven't got one leprechaun fish. Looks like the majority of them have been, well, no, pretty evenly distributed. It seems like we got more of the rowdies early on, but I think we are getting a lot more buzzwords. And they have not been picky about which baits they go after. Nope. Choose any one of them, any hook size. And then we got all these others, which have helped a little bit with the cash. Alright, guys, we are quickly running out of. Hello? Alright, guys, we are quickly running out of event baits. 
And we're running out of room in our net. Our net has only got about 100 pounds left, and that only takes about five fish to do that. We are getting bites off this, but we have not gotten one snakehead off or any of the other lures. It's starting to lead me to believe that there's some kind of screwed up way of catching them. I just don't know how that is. There's a red ear. I haven't caught one of these in a while. Also have not caught any leprechaun fish, which is interesting. So there's definitely a difference between all these lakes. It's like Blue Crab had all of them. Every one of them. Some of them are missing some of the species. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, is that the case or am I mistaken? But I have caught just about everything off these lures with the exception of the snakeheads. See, here we go with another one. Judging from the way it's fighting, I'm thinking it's a bass. Or a peacock bass. Yep, large mouth. The bass are biting off this really, really well, though. So this could definitely be one that you could use to help grind if you're, you know, once you get it past the event. But I haven't noticed any noticeable difference with the rainbow frog popper. Well, looks like I'm getting too many event fish at the moment. Take care of that. Wow. All at once. Just got a channel cat off this one. And I'm not sure what this is, but it's little. It's an Oscar. I haven't got one of those in a while. Well, at least not here, is what I mean. But yeah, no leprechaun fish at all. Nothing. We are down to nitty gritty here, guys. We are down to last of our drunken worms. And pickled huari fruit. The bully... Grasshoppers are gone. Now I can purchase more, and if you keep these going, you can. It can pay for itself. It's just. Let me take a look here and show you what I mean here. Well, it's like the... Yeah, there it is right there. Pickled Huari Palm Fruit and the Bully Grasshoppers. Those are seven bait coins. But, if I get seven event fish just off of this, that's a problem. <laughs> Yeah, if I get seven, okay, get thirteen. Okay, I'm, I'm look. All right, guys, if you look at this, even though it's seven bay coins, you get thirteen bully grasshoppers. So long as you get thirteen event fish, you'll get thirteen bay coins. Maybe that's why you're better off getting that um, premium because then you get twenty-six possible. You have to play the odds up here. That's pretty much what you got to do. And the same is going to be true for the pickled huari fruit. It doesn't look like they're selling the drunken worms here. So. But I'm not buying any at the moment because I'm going to probably have enough to fill this net and have to go back. I'm hoping that I get enough to pay for the trip just from these bass and other 
non-event species. Can't tell if that's going to be big enough or not. No, it's little. Could be another Oscar, could be another Bluegill, could be another Golden Shiner. Nope, the red here. I am not getting leprechaun fish here, that is for sure. No leprechaun fish in the Everglades. At least not in this part of it. Plenty of those guys. And I'm out of Hawaii for all that's left of the drunken worms, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move to another spot, and I'm going to see if I can get some snakeheads in a different location. Maybe that. What's necessary? I don't know. But so let's try here. Far enough down. Anything is possible. Discard this event. Anything's possible. Alright, we've got no bait for that, so we're gonna have to put Drunken Worm on here. I am gonna size the hook down to a two just to see. We can still get Leprechaun Fish. That one's a two, and that one's a two. All of them are twos. Oh, we're getting bites right off the bat. And they're definitely event fish. I don't think it's a leprechaun, it's just fighting too darn hard. Yep, Buzzman. Yet again. That is really interesting. There's the last of the pick of worry. Went through every bit of it. One surefire way of getting a bite is to try to cast your lure out. <laughs> see what this one is. Nope. Still getting little ones with this red-eared sunfish. I'm getting a lot of the red ears here. They really like those drinking worms. Whatever this is, it's not big. Huh. That is interesting. Now we're getting all kinds of bites, but I don't think any of them are event fish. And we now know the red ears love to go for drunken worms. And so do Oscars. That is the last of the drunken worms, guys. Well, one thing's for certain. We are not going to get leprechaun fish. Tried too many times, too many things. They are just not to be caught here, but I think if I upsize his hook, might have a shot of getting not to fill this net. I only need a few more. Well, we got something, man. Huh? 
for the large amount. Yep, drunken worm, definitely an event fish. I'm interested to see what this is. Channel catfish. Looks like we ran out of our baits as we fill up the net. That's it, guys. But our net is pretty much full. We are at 925 and 925.9. Can't get much fuller than that. <laughs> let's see, let me try, try to get one more fish out of this, but I doubt we're going to get anything too soon. Oh, we got, we do have one more. Got something off this. Pretty much sure that this one is actually a vent fish. So we're going to keep that one. Oh, that's a big one, too. That is the last of our baits, and our net is full. Not bad. Did get the XP for this, but can't keep him. Well, well, that's not too bad, guys. We used up every bit of our event baits, but we did fill up our net, and we managed to get 80 bait coins, 51.98 cash. So I don't remember the travel cost to get here, but it might be close. I don't remember here. But let's go ahead and leave. Yeah, we just fell a little bit shy of paying for our travel costs. Just a little bit. It's 58.75 travel costs. But that still was worth it, without a doubt. I mean, we are up to 302 bay coins. And like I said, I've known some people to get a thousand bay coins. Just grinding these guys as much as they can. But that's what I would do is, as long as the event goes on. I would just try and keep grinding those bait coins and see if you can't get as many of them as you can get. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I think this is the last of our St. Patrick's Day event episodes. I'm not sure if we're going to go back to Maroon River or maybe do something different. I don't know. But we'll see what happens, guys. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.